All right, what's up guys, Zach here, and I wanna share with you the top 10 design tips for high converting emails for direct-to-consumer e-commerce brands. What are we gonna talk about today? Having a mobile-first design, cutting things off in your emails, different ways to add images, different transitions, mobile phone mockups, evergreen sections, simplicity, GIFs, hero image, CTA, and offer all within the first fold of the email, as well as I'll actually share a swipe file of excellent email designs that you can just take. It'll also be in the document, which is linked down below. All right, so who is this for? This is for anyone running a direct direct to consumer e-commerce brand, most likely on Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, and using something like Klaviyo or similar ESP for email marketing. And this is for anyone who wants to improve their email designs, increase their customer lifetime value, add more revenue from email marketing, and follow a proven system that follows best practices and has worked for dozens of other brands and people that don't wanna guess at what's actually gonna drive more revenue. So why listen to me? Just so you know, I'm not some random guy on the internet. I actually know what I'm doing and I do this for handfuls of D2C clients at a time that get awesome results. You can see you help this brand here add 58K in new monthly revenue, help this guy add 43% in new monthly revenue, help this brand add 57K in new monthly revenue, help this brand add 26K in new monthly revenue, and help to this brand add 47K in new monthly revenue. And a big part of how we helped all of these brands add revenue is their email design. So it's absolutely essential that you nail this down. Okay, so number one is having a mobile first design. So what does that mean? It means having big buttons, big fonts, and a very clear offer that you absolutely cannot miss. So for example, here we have factor 75. You don't need a bunch of massive paragraphs of copy. One paragraph does the trick and a great strategy that they use is really highlighting the products by cutting them out and adding in some shadows here, but not overdoing the emails and not going crazy with all these different designs. It's very sleek, simple, and to the point with one paragraph in the middle here. And they pretty much repeat the offer twice and you absolutely cannot miss it. It's 50% off plus 20% off your next month. Big and bold, huge CTA buttons. Um, first fold is perfectly optimized. Everything is gonna look great on a mobile device. And as you can see, their, their, test, their text is huge. Everything is image first. They have these really nice kind of infographic styles here. Um, they don't put a, a bunch of lifestyle images. They're really focusing on the product themselves. Um, and you, you pretty much would have to be blind to miss this $130 off discount. So as you can see, they put it in there twice, big bright colors. Next up is cutting things off in your emails. This is a really nice design hack, again, going with the same brand here. Uh, what they do is they cut out the, the background of the products, they add shadows, and they add layers and banners, and they play around, which gives things a very sleek design. But as you can see, they're playing around with the edges of the email, and they're having things get cropped off on the left and right here, which is really nice. They're not afraid to change things up a little bit, go off the edges. As you can see here, there's this green box in the background and then an image kind of sliding in from the left. Really cool design there. They're literally coloring outside the lines to add depth and make things interesting. So as you can see, they kind of cropped these, they took these product images, added some shadows on the backgrounds, put them off the page here. So it's not just like some, you know, very basic, like they're really thinking stylistically here about what's what's gonna make sense. And here's an example of something that we've done is, you know, if you have a box, like put, add a little bit, de bit of depth, put the product on top of the box and play around with these, um, you know, different layers essentially. All right, so there's different ways to add images. So if you're using lifestyle shots and you can't just crop out um, the products, you wanna be creative. You wanna just, don't just throw the image in there like it's Microsoft Word. Be creative, do things like rounding the corners, corners here. As you can see, this is a perfectly optimized hero header. It's a great strategy. And especially if you can't really crop this image out, this product out, and you still want to add a little bit of, um, you know, uniqueness into there, it adds just a little bit more depth. Same thing with this right here. You might not be able to crop them out immediately, but you can add the, these fades at the top and bottom, and you can get again, another way to get that perfectly optimized hero header. And you can use some arches, another great example here. of uh, We didn't just throw in this image. We didn't just like slap it in there and call it a day. We actually looked on their website and they, we noticed they had a lot of these arches and that's why we included that in there. Again, another really cool arch design with a nice 
white border around it, very cool. And as you can see, the products are like halfway cut off, which gives a really nice aesthetic. And it's kind of, it's just adding to the overall image and feel. Um, it has a nice little loop-de-loop -loop arrow and you can, you can see things are, um, you know, this, it just has a lot of a lot of depth and a lot of character rather than they could have just put, um, you know, in basic, you know, basic font up here, welcome to our world and just put a basic image. But they took the time and went above and beyond and they can definitely use this image all across other emails, which is great. You want to, uh, you don't want to just create an image once that looks really nice and then never use it again in your emails. You want things that are essentially evergreen that you can use across all different emails. And again, this is another example. This probably took us maybe five minutes, but instead of just adding like a square or a rectangle image in there, we actually took the time, added a white border, made a nice little arch here, and that's what we did with that. Um, and same thing with adding like different steps and things like that. As you can see, there's like the full image on there and they cut out this part right here and it looks really nice and it kind of bleeds over this white line and just goes above and beyond, which really is kind of just an example of how to do this, especially um, with one, two, three, four, five different steps there. Uh, partially cutting off the products looks really nice. And then adding just a nice frame around your images will do wonders. If you do want to keep it a square or rectangle, here's a great way to do so. And then just don't be afraid to think outside the box. Here's an example of what we did with a mushroom coffee brand. As you can see, we could have just put squares in there, but we rounded the rectangles and kind of made them staggered. And we added the copy in there very nicely. And then if you want to, if you want to just go ahead, go with a, go with a very clean aesthetic. Obviously, Mudwater knows what they're doing here. And if they do see that's the best fit with their brand, absolutely go for it. That's a stylistic choice right there. But here's a really nice image and it's super basic. It's maybe, you know, maybe it's a little bit too basic. Who cares? I um, mean, you know, if that's your brand, then absolutely go for it. It's all, um, it's all a stylistic choice, but you know, as, as long as you're understanding what you're doing, totally cool. All right, and then transitions between sections. So again, think outside the box here, be creative. Um, if you're if you're gonna have more clean lines, it's gonna be a more corporate, serious type brand versus like squiggly lines. Unique transitions is gonna add a little bit more of a fun and playful vibe. So as you can see here, um, here's an example of what, what we did. We added some layers here. We have the actual product on top, and then we use some layering with the text and put the text behind the product just to kind of crop it off just a little bit. Uh, we added a nice little background here so it's not just a plain color we actually added a little bit of depth here and you can see we're playing around the layers and you can see um, we have a bunch of squiggly lines because that really matches the brand so don't always think so linearly add some nice icons and some graphics here as you can see they have these fun little characters and you know they have the, the little little cloud at the bottom and they have all these squiggly lines which makes sense for their brand and as you can see too the background is very important they didn't just go with a plain color they added kind of, I, don't, I don't even know what these are but they added that in the background and then here's um you know if you just want something more typical um, some sort of wave transition like that it's still nice it's still clean and it's still aesthetic but it's a very um you know good way to add a little bit more fun and character to your emails versus your corporate like straight lines and things like that all right mobile phone mock-ups these are especially great uh, depending on your brand especially if you have a younger target audience so this is what we like to do a lot um, is having a CTA to follow them on social media. Here's an example of what you can do. We did this in Figma. It probably took, you know, maybe a couple minutes to create this, but just using um, different like iPhone screenshots or computer screenshots and things like that adds a little bit more depth and makes your emails a little bit more, a little bit cooler. Um, here's another example. And then, you know, for example, this is a very Gen Z brand that has a lot of TikTok content. So it makes perfect sense to uh, feature their content in there, feature their TikToks and things like that within the emails. And you can either link to TikTok or just have it as essentially a section within your email. But adding in uh, mobile phone screenshots is always a great idea. All right, evergreen section. So um, you want to make one section and you want to be able to re reuse it for the rest of eternity. Uh, it's it's going to drastically speed up your process. So you want to create these sections that um, you, you can use across multiple different emails. A couple examples here are benefit icons. They can use this in pretty much any, um, you know, any sort of email if this applies to all of their different products. 
that's an example there. And then footer sections are another great place where you don't wanna have to redesign the footer every single time. So, uh, you know, create it once, create it really nicely once, and then use it across all your different emails. You can have these icons here, you can have links to your about us and your blog and your gift cards and whatever you want. And then another example here, that this is an example of a brand that has this across all their different emails. And you can see that sometimes they change the colors or sometimes they change the icons a little bit, but overall you can see it takes them maybe you know 20 seconds to put it in there and it really adds a lot of, um, a lot of extra value to their emails and they don't have to take a lot of extra time to do so. All right, simplicity is key. So here's a great structure that we like to start off. Um, basically, as I said, having an optimized hero section is essential. So within this first fold, you wanna have your header text and your offer and your subheader, as well as an image and a CTA all within that first fold. So if people never scroll on your email, they can still click on that, click the CTA button and get the, get the gist of the email. It's a great section there. And then you really wanna go simple on the body text to at least start out with. Sure, you can expand. However, we like to keep things very, very simple. And we might put an offer or something extra down below here. But again, this is the structure that we start off our emails with. We don't like to have massive, long, um, you know, super long emails just because no one's gonna read all of that. And then gifts. These are always great. We always wanna go extra, go the extra mile. Uh, for the client, they do take a lot of extra time, but again, going back to making things evergreen, um, things like this at the top here, if you have free shipping or if you have benefits icons that you want to be able to reuse, like make these sections once and then pretty much for the rest of the year, rest of whatever you're making emails, uh, you can go ahead and reuse those elements and future emails. Makes the emails fun, they makes them really stand out in the inbox, makes them just a lot different than your competition and it, you know, it's it's gonna be more work up front, but it's absolutely worth it. And then, yeah, as I said, last thing we always wanna do is keep, um, keep the optimized hero header. So hero image, CTA and headline all within that first fold. If you don't do anything else, you know, it's like optimizing your headline. It's the most important thing. So you want to optimize your first fold because that's essentially your headline of everything. Um, if you, you know, if you have a lot more information down here, that's totally cool. But make sure the most important stuff is up here. And then a couple examples of great email designs. This will be in the document down below. Um, but again, the reason I picked these out is because they all have a clean, minimal, beautiful aesthetic while matching. Uh, what the client is going for. So they have an optimized hero header. They're all easily scannable. They sell the user on taking one very clear and specific action. They have big CTA buttons. They're easily readable on mobile and there's no extra information. They're really getting to the point. So a couple examples here, which you can take a look at down below, but these are all great designs. They really stand out in the inbox and overall um, absolutely match the uh, what the client was going for. So overall, these are not rules. These are just guidelines to keep in mind. Again, this is a very creative process. Um, so, you know, huge brands, they can absolutely get away with not having hero images uh, optimized and things like that. But again, just going back to, uh, you wanna understand the rules before you start breaking them. So here's a couple examples of emails that absolutely crush it. All right, so that's the end of the video. If you're running a direct-to-consumer e-commerce brand doing six or seven figures per month, we'll ha go ahead and add 50K to 200K to your monthly revenue in the next 90 days. And if we're not able to, we'll give you a refund. So if you're interested, you have two options. You can either check out our website, that's zhs-ecom.com and book a call there. Or if you want more information, you can go ahead and send an email to zach at zhsecom.com for more information. Appreciate it and have an awesome rest of your day.